back when I was in England a few weeks ago, I had the chance to stop at Aviation Retail Direct, a model store outside London where you can actually shop in person for different models of different scales. Now, I specifically stopped there to look for this exact model. This is a CSA Czech Airlines Airbus A320 in one of 200 scale by the model company in Flight 200. Without further ado, let's start the unboxing. Taking a look at the outside of the box, we see that there is a gradient design with a white color on the top and then it transitions down towards a light-ish blue. So then here we have the words which is supposed to be uh, Czechoslovak State Airlines in English, so this is obviously an old livery. Then we have this stripe going all across the box, we're going to have this stripe and gradient theme all throughout the box. We have the clip out of the aircraft, the registration, which is Oscar Kilo, Lima, Echo, Echo. And we have the Airbus A320 titles, as well as one of 200 scale and the in-flight 200 logo down here. Now, unlike Gemini 200s and or most other model companies, uh, the way in-flight 200 packages their models is there's actually no flap, but rather there's this cardboard all around the actual package, which then opens up like a Gemini 200. And on the outside, it just essentially shows the same thing on the sides. And on the back, it just shows the cheap just a uh, CSA um, livery logo. And yeah, now that we've taken a look at the box, let's unbox the model. Now, as you guys can see, I've slid off the cardboard and now it opens like a Gemini 200 model. And here we have the model. Taking the model out of the cardboard, this is actually real all this is all metal there's no uh, plastic of any kind on the actual model so I'm just going to place this down here because there is no landing gear landing gear actually does come in the box as you guys can see and then I have no clue what this is I believe this is supposed to be replacement parts in case some of it breaks which is actually pretty nice but I don't understand why they would do this or maybe it's Something else? I don't know. Comment down below if you know what this is. I think this is supposed to be replacement parts. And then, of course, we have the stand for the model here. Taking the landing gear out of the plastic baggie, uh, you will see that these uh, this landing gear is actually magnetic, as you guys can see. So the way this landing gear snaps on is just like this. It snaps in because there's magnets on both sides, so it helps keep it very sturdy and then on the other side it's magnetic too so um i believe gemini 200 models have this too uh but i don't know because i've never actually had one and then so here in the front the front landing gear for landing gear piece just snaps in like that and the forward landing gear actually turns 360 degrees around let's take a look at the details on this model Starting off with your segment on this model, we have the cockpit windows, Sky Team logo, which indicates that this aircraft joined CSA's fleet after 2000 because that was when CSA joined Sky Team. Then we have the L1 door, another little Sky Team logo, an antenna above the L1 door. Then moving on down the aircraft, we have the four landing gear with the last letters of the registration, which is Echo Echo. Then we have the CSA titles, and below on the blue stripe, we have the words Czech Airlines and then the little IATA logo. Continuing on down the aircraft we have the emergency exits, engines and wings and then on the wings you have the registration of the aircraft which is Oscar Kilo Lima Echo Echo and then we have these two little I believe those are antennas or communications hubs and then we have another antenna another antenna and then on the blue stripe we have the type of aircraft which is AT20 then we have the L2 door the tail of the aircraft, and then the registration and the check flag. And the registration is, like I said before, Oscar Kilo, Lima, Echo, Echo. And then across the entire aircraft, we have this uh, red and blue type uh, scheme that uh, circles around at the nose and keeps going down the entire length of the aircraft. So I'm just going to zoom out as far as I can here. And then let's take a look at the rest. And then this actually isn't visible from the side, but then on the top we have this little, uh, it's a bit reflective, so it's a, I think it's like a jewel or something. This is supposed to be uh, one of the beacon lights of the aircraft. 
and then so obviously the wings on the aircraft are level the fan blade details are absolutely immaculately beautiful and then so while on the right wing you have registration on the top of the wing on the bottom of the wing on the left side you have the registration of the aircraft and then on the bottom of the aircraft you have uh one antenna here another beacon light and then you have the in-flight 200 logo and behind that is another antenna and then on the back you also have another uh antenna which is on the right side of the aircraft now that brings me to the differences between the left and right side of the aircraft on the right side of the aircraft you can actually see that there is um all of the cargo doors here 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 and here and you also have a bunch of other little maintenance doors and actually i think this is a mistake but there's an antenna on the side of the aircraft there's an antenna like literally on the side of the aircraft that was the one i showed you before but either that's a mistake or that's uh, akin to its real life counterpart but uh, yeah that really is all there is to this model taking a look at the metal stand you will find that the pedestal is actually made from real metal which really adds quality to the model that you just paid 125 pounds for and then here you have the silver placard which displays the uh, airline type of aircraft and the scale which is 1 to 200 in this case. And the metal arm which holds the aircraft up from the pedestal, this is actually made of metal too. In order to slide the stand on, we have this little hole above the in-flight 200 logo and just next to the landing gears and the model slides onto the stand just like this by attaching into the hole. Now, you really have to push to get it in, uh, but once you do, the model will be very sturdy. This is what the model looks like when it's fully put on the stand. To be honest, the quality of this model actually amazed me. Not only are you getting a very high quality metal stand with your completely die-cast metal heavy aircraft model that has a lot of details, but you're also getting replacement parts and high quality landing gear. The packaging is also extremely well for the price you pay. But uh, yeah, with that being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell so you see my videos, and comment down below if you have an Inflight 200 model, what you think of it, or if you're planning to get one in the future. Once again, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, goodbye.